Down in Kodiak, it is pouring, and this time we're not talking about the rain. Kristen Duran and Carly Schreck are in the town for their last day there, taste testing at a popular brewery. So let's go road tripping. Well, we're finally wrapping up our trip here in Kodiak, and what better way to do that than with an ice cold glass of locally brewed ale? I am joined now by Ben Milstein, the owner of Kodiak Island Brewing Company. Thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Thanks for coming. Yeah, start off by telling me a little bit about what it is I've got here in my glass. Um, what we're drinking is uh, Termination Point Spruce Tip IPA. There's a, been a lot of use of spruce tips in beers in Alaska, and uh, we've done it for a long time. What we were mostly doing is uh, using spruce tips in low hop beers to, to elevate the flavor of the spruce tip because, because they're really good. Delicious. Now, um, why don't you show us a little bit around uh, the brewery and what you've got going on back here? Yeah, let's go. This is uh, a 10 barrel brew house. Um, that means we brew about 300 gallons at a time. Our newest member of the stainless family is the still in the corner there. Great. So, yeah, now you're getting into spirits. So that's what that is at, uh, the gin or vodka or? All of it. Gin, vodka, whiskey, the whole catastrophe. Now, how long have you been doing this here in Kodiak? This is our 20th anniversary party tonight. Very cool. Uh, what are you, what are you, why are you passionate about, about this? Um, well, I love it. I started thinking um, if no one was el else was gonna make a brewery in Kodiak, then maybe I should. What would you say is your most popular beer? Well, it's a little bit hard to answer. I mean, uh, the easy answer would be Liquid Sunshine, which is a steam-style beer. It's similar to a, a pale ale, but it's um, fermented with a lager yeast at ale temperatures. It's kind of a high, hybrid style, and that's, we've got a Scottish ale that we also started with that's very popular. But in the last several years, IPAs have gone from obscurity to all-consuming popularity. And of course, I love IPAs myself. When people walk in, what's the kind of vibe they can expect or the feel here? It's casual. I want um, locals to feel comfortable here like this is, you know, people come in here and they do smell like halibut sometimes, you know, um, that certainly happens. Hey, and it's yeah. okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's because these are our people. It should be comfortable for locals and comfortable for visitors and feel like they're in Kodiak. Well, Carly, it's been a long trip. And what a trip it has been. We've had a great time from the ferry ride to hiking to the crab festival. We couldn't have asked for a better time with the locals. Yes, and with that, from Kodiak to Haines, we now raise a glass to the next crew taking on this next leg of this Alaskan-made road trip and adventure. I hope they get to see my friends Paul and Jeannie over at Haines Brewing Company. Yeah, maybe they will. All right, cheers, guys. Cheers. Happy anniversary. <laughs>